Welcome to Phoenix Tarot Tribe. If you found this video, we may be a part of your soul tribe. Feel free to join, share the video. If you clicked on this video, there may be something in this video for you. So we invite you to hang out, grow with us. We're just now getting started. We all start our journey at some point. Today, I actually channeled the song Obsessed with Mariah Carey. Sorry, guys. I always forget to start the timer for whatever reasons. Okay, so maybe this person is feeling like they're running out of time because I felt like I was so much further in the video than I was. This person may feel like they're running out of time. They may be obsessed with this connection. So, this may be um, someone that was dragging their feet about the connection or something like that. I have already prayed and saged off camera to save time. As I do in most videos, again, I may pray again because it's just a habit. As I go through my day, I do pray. So, I pray numerous times a day. I also give thanks numerous times a day because with a grateful heart... We are open to receive, and with the attitude of gratitude, we shall receive the things that the universe wants to bless us with. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the energies. Hopefully, everybody is doing well, happy, healthy, and growing. Spirit, please give us messages that we need, uh, things we may not be aware of, things we may need to make decisions on and may need a little more clarity we would like to make choices and decisions based on our highest good based on the information that we are being given first off we have the hanged man Pisces energy thank you spirit can we get another one as we grow as a people we realize that we outgrow situations sometimes our per perspective changes this is a lot but i am going to show you what i've seen in the deck the full someone is in full energy they're looking to take a leap yeah this is a lot okay so what we have is the emperor in reverse I am going to put these back in the deck. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Swords in reverse. And the Five, and this Three of Swords wants to come out again. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This Emperor, someone in um, Emperor Energy, caused a Three of Swords situation. With someone they've seen as independent, self-sufficient. The emperor in reverse is someone that likes to be controlling, may manipulate. Um, they really just, it's, it's not the top flight situation, but it seems like they try to manipulate this energy that is in the ninth of pentacles. Okay, here we go again. So the cards want to talk. What we're going to do is, okay, that left you guys at a stalemate. You guys could not see eye to eye about something, but they want to offer a brand new beginning with this Ace of Cups to the lovers. Like, I can't make it up, but there is conflict. The Five of Wands, there's conflict. I'm putting these back in the deck, even though I feel like they should be out. I want one at a time, Spirit, please. One or two at a time. We could do that. We can't do five. I guess I could have. I don't know. But, you know, I feel called to take one right now. So I can really gen uh, focus down on the energy. Thank you, Spirit. We have the tower. It kind of came out crossing. So someone is in a tower moment or feels like they are, things in their life is falling apart. Which is causing them most likely to see things from a different perspective. 
Let's get more energy on the table before we really narrow down. Spirit, can we have another? We have the Two of Cups. This tower moment is leading to a Two of Cups. Okay. Spirit, please give me clarity on the Hanged Man. Which is karma. Someone was getting karma. It's in reverse. So, this person may have racked up some karma, some debt. In the past, they may have paid this karma back. The Nine of Pentacles wants to show. Again, there is somebody that is in an abundant single energy with this Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful, intelligent, a business owner possibly. Spirit, please give us clarity on the Nine of Pentacles to Karma in reverse. Temperance. Whatever the situation is, it takes time. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some patience. You're going to have to be real easy with it. Spirit, please give us clarity on the full. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Someone is working hard. Maybe this person lost everything to karma in this tower moment. So now they're working hard to rebuild a life because the Eight of Pentacles is clarified with the clarifying the full. We have the Four of Cups. Someone just was not happy with their options or whatever they chose. And now they want to take a leap of faith somewhere else. We have the star in reverse. I have to cover up because she's a little bit naked. So wherever they were, they're not happy. They may not be happy because of the tower moment. They may not be happy because they are getting karma. Um, so they're really just focusing on work. We have, what is this? The eight of wands and the ten of pentacles coming out. Regardless of what this person is doing, I feel like you're on their mind. This, the Eight of Wands is fast communication. This person may want to talk to you with this falling over the tower, clarifying the tower. And the Ten of Pentacles is clarifying the Eight of Wands. This person may very well want to talk to you and tell you what's going on in their life. And hopefully that they would like to heal some things. They may be thinking about a past time that you guys were together. But you are in this Queen of Swords energy. This person left things in a way that you had to put up boundaries. You only want the truth. You only want clarity. And you're going to use your discernment. That's too many. <laughs> Let's just see what they are though. Oh my goodness. Someone is manifesting you after a betrayal. We've seen that earlier. But they see you as their son. Who this Queen of Wands? But they are in a Seven of Wands energy. So that's probably why you are in this Queen of Swords energy. But this person wants to offer you their Two of Cups. Spirit, please give us clarity on the Two of Cups. The Empress, that's who they want to offer their Two of Cups to. This person that is nurturing, caring, fertile. They see a life with you. And that falls right next to the Ten of Pentacles. That's why I'm, I'm stating that they see you as abundant. And they know that they can be happy and be stable with you. The Empress, she creates ideas. She brings forth new life. That could be a new stream of income. 
we have the king of swords on the board now that's who is manifesting or trying to manifest a brand new love beginning with you on the bottom of the deck we have the king of cups the king of swords to the queen of swords is a match The King of Cups is someone that loves you. Okay. The King of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Five of Wands. Okay. This is someone you don't even know is deeply in love with you. They may have been cold and matter-of-factly. Because the King of Swords is kind of strict, direct communication. The King of Cups... He, he definitely is going to make a decision. But with this page of wands and this five of wands, somebody's watching you. They understand, like, not to be creepy, they may just be trying to figure out how to get back in your life. Um, but the five of wands is conflict. They're tired of the conflict. They would like to communicate with you. Um, there's a lot of wands out here. Well, there's not a lot of wands. There's more money on pinnacles or money. There's more pinnacles than anything. So that says to me this person is focused on or may have been focused on financial stability in the end because the ten of pentacles is also falling under this tower right here so maybe they lost a lot of money or someone is about to lose a lot of money and they realize that they can rebuild with this empress because the empress is fruitful she's she just makes things happen and that's just how things go for her spirit please clarify this king of swords The Queen of Swords is looking directly at the King of Swords. They both have their sword up, but he looking away like, yeah, I'm not about to tell her the truth right now because she's still mad. So this person may feel like they can't, they can't come to you with the complete truth at this time, even though the Queen of Swords is falling under this Eight of Wands, which is communication. This person may want to tell you the truth. They may not know how, and I'm not making any excuses because we all are adults and i say this because anyone watching this video should be over 18 so if we're all adults we all make decisions we make choices and we have to we have to stand on that i've seen that the that was crazy i don't even know what just happened with that but i've seen the lovers and it flipped back in the deck we have the page of cups coming in and we clarifying the king of swords and we also have the ace of swords so this person wants to be truthful with you and they are manifesting this kind of situation where they can be honest but they may not know how they some there's a blockage somewhere they want to heal the situation the king of, king of swords to the queen of swords is a match but if you look at them, she's looking directly at him. He's looking away at the owl as if he's either avoiding her. Well, he's actually looking past the owl. He may not want to make direct eye contact because of the fact that he has let her down. And he knows he has to be truthful with her. She has her hand open to receive. The, whatever communication this is, she's ready to receive because she's falling under the communication. He may not know that. He may be stuck up in his head, up in his ego, and it, regardless of whatever happens, she's open to receive that information. But he wants to offer this to a cup. He, it seems as if he wants to skip past this, and there is no gender in tarot. So when I say he, it could be a she. When I say she, it could be a he. There's no gender, so just apply it as it applies to your life. I just ask that you don't force it. That's all I really ask. Spirit, can we get a couple lovers oracles on this 
situation because it seems kind of sticky. A little bit sticky. Okay. I mean, we all have free will. We all make the choices that we think are best for us at that moment, most likely. And, you know, as long as you live and you breathe and you're honest, I believe sometimes you can get through a lot of things. I can't say everything, but mm, maybe a few things. It just depends. But again, both of these people want to be honest. So maybe there's a conversation that needs to be had. Oh, these cards are hard. All right, Spirit, let's see how we want to do this. All righty. Well, let's see. Spirit, please let us know what we should know in this situation. I can't even hardly handle these cards. They're so big. All right, we're just going to split the deck. No, nope, we're not because I'm not called to do that. I'm going to do a shuffle this way. Whichever one. I don't know who I am anymore. This person is lost. They may be used to being in this king of swords energy where they're making head over heart decisions. But now you've came into their lives and they're in this king of cups energy about you, which is a loving energy. And they they might not be able to process it. You know, there there was a point where life was simpler, maybe. <laughs> but they're still with the the hangman. They're seeing things differently. Let's see. We got two. I wish I could understand you. So you're mysterious to this person. You're mysterious, which is not a problem. Why do I feel so lost? This person feels lost without you, Collective. But they know that they care about you. They don't understand why they feel the way they do. Okay, so the one. Somebody wants out. Somebody wants out of something. This person is in another situation. Hmm. But they want to give you their two of cups. So they want out of a situation that has nothing to do with you. They're manifesting you. They don't want to... The star in reverse is somebody that does not want to heal. When you have the star in reverse, I have to do it like this because she is naked, but it's the star in reverse. So someone doesn't want to heal a situation. So wherever they are, they don't want to heal it, whatever that is. Like I said, this is probably a love reading, most likely. I was led to do a love reading. Spirit, can we have another one? This person wants out. Maybe, Spirit, why does this person want out? Spirit, why does this person want out? I cry at night. This person may be crying. They want out. They may feel trapped. That might be why they cry. The King of Cups is um, someone that doesn't really show their emotions. They cry at night because they're alone. You know, when you're going through your day, you can kind of put it off like everything's good. But at night, when everything settles down and everything's quiet, you're in your head. And this person is crying at night over you. Let's see. I can't take it anymore. This person is, is really, really tired. And I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about you. That is why this person feels the way that they should cry and, and do these things at night in secret because they can't stop thinking about you. That is the exact reason why they um they cry at night. But they're manifesting this. Their life is falling apart with the tower. Their life is falling apart. 
and it's going to take some time to fix this. Nothing was built in a day. Nothing falls apart in a day most of the time. I'll say that. But also, if you look closely on this card, there is a rainbow. I'm sorry. I know you guys can't really see. There's a rainbow. So this person is going through a storm. And what happens after the storm? You get that rainbow. It is so beautiful. It is so worth waiting. There is water in a lot of these cars. Water is emotions for me. I would say probably half of these cars have water in them. So um, what I do know is Mars went direct into uh, Cancer uh, May 10th. And it's going to be there till July 1st. So this, I feel like this is a masculine energy or someone in masculine energy. Flip it, twist it, however it works. But this person can't take it. They, they're crying at night. They want out. They, they are lost. They wish they could understand you so they would know how to make the move that they want to make toward this two of cups. But, you know, ultimately, this is divinely guided. This has to be divinely guided because this person was looking at things in a different a different way. Now, with these, these endings and endings bring new beginnings. They want to be honest. They want to move forward. They want to do all the things that they should have did in the first place. I ain't going to lie to you guys. They should have did it in the first place. This is, I feel like this is somebody you know. This may be um, an ex, a current ex, or a few exes ago. But retrograde brings a lot of feelings up in a lot of people. And I do feel like this is a masculine energy. And I feel like right now, with Mars being in Cancer... This is really affecting the male, the masculine community of, um, you know, digging up things that we really need to work on. You know, things that trigger you, things that you just keep burying and things like that. So pray for your person if you want your person. Even if you don't want your person, still pray for a person because we do everything in love and light. You know, just because you pray for them don't mean that you want them back. But, you know, you do want the person to be good because this is a heavy energy of, <clears throat> I don't know how to say it, depression. This is a heavy energy of depression. I don't want to put that on anyone. But um, as a community, a lot of times men do not speak up because of fear of being seen or being demasculated. Demasculate. I don't know why I said D. Whatever. Spirit, please give us clarity on. Okay. <laughs> on I don't know who I am anymore. Reunion. This person wants a reunion. You guys have a soul tie. They do. They want you. They want you back. They realize now that they want you. They want to have a two of cups with you. Thank you, Spirit. I wish I could understand you. There was facades. This person's beliefs may have been blocking this person from understanding you because maybe they were taught one particular way and they think there's one way to do a thing and that's not necessarily the case. Spirit, thank you. This person, it says, why do I feel so lost? This person is getting assistance from their spirit guides. This person may not have been listening in the beginning, but they are getting help now from their spirit guides. They want out. I couldn't. I couldn't make this up at all. Somebody had an epiphany, a breakthrough, and they realized that something was not right. They want out. It may have been this tower moment that let this person know, like this ain't where you even supposed to be. You supposed to learn your lessons and get up through. Why does this person cry at night, spirit? Because their third eye is now opening. They're getting clarity. For clarity on I can't take it anymore. Okay, that was a lot. Okay. This person was in their comfort zone in their south no node and they were clinging to that. Like I said, this person may have had some old beliefs. They were they were stuck. But 
someone is spying and someone is watching this person is trying to get the courage to change their situation and at the bottom of the deck somebody sees you as wish fulfillment you are wish fulfillment you are their genie in a bottle definitely so they may be, they may have fumbled you and now they realize that it was not what they should have done you know your situation better than me if you need more clarity ask the divine talk to your spirit guides your ancestors and ask them what what is it that you should be knowing what are you not seeing because there's going to be a reunion. This person is manifesting a reunion. Even if you don't want this person back, they realize that they want you back. And we all have free will. So I would never tell anybody to do anything that is against their health, mental or physical health. So just know, whatever you decide, we rock with you 100%. But with that, I would like to thank you guys for making it through another reading. If this is your first time, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We would love to see you back. So please turn on the bell for the notifications. And we will see you guys soon. Wish you love, light, and happiness. Love you guys.